విదుర కాలేజ్ గ్రేడ్ వన్ మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ ట్రాన్సాక్షన్స్ యూజ్ ఇన్ కాయిన్స్ పార్ట్ టూ హలో మై డియర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ హోప్ యూ ఆల్ ఆర్ డూయింగ్ వెల్ టుడే వీ ఆర్ గోయిన్ టు లెర్న్ అబౌట్ ట్రాన్సాక్షన్స్ యూజ్ ఇన్ కాయిన్స్ Do you remember we learned about coins used in Sri Lanka? Okay, let's recall that lesson. A coin is a small, flat, round piece of metal. Coins are issued by the government to buy goods. Coins often have images, numerals that mean numbers, or test on them they are named in rupees coins less than a rupee are in cents now you know all these coins have the word of its value that mean rupee at the center and the year also printed and the sri lankan logo that mean national emblem is printed on one side of the coin okay let's recall the coins that we learned we learned 1 rupee 2 rupees 5 rupees and 10 rupees Okay, today we are going to learn about transactions using coins. Let's see how can we use these coins in transactions. My friend Peter wants to buy some stationeries. Let's help him to buy those stationeries. Look at here. This is my friend Peter. He is saying he wants to buy a sharpener, an eraser, a ruler and a book. Oh, there is a bookshop. He can take all the things that he need from here. But how he buy these things? Yes, to buy these things, Peter has to use the coins as money. Let's see how much will these stationaries. I told you he needs a sharpener. Look at here. This is the price of a sharpener. Children, when we buy or purchase something, we need to pay for that. We pay for its price. In here, how we read the price of this sharpener? We can read this as 1 rupee. That means 1 rupee is the price of this sharpener. Okay, now look at next one. He needs an eraser also. What's the price of it? Yes, it's 2 rupees. Very good. Now look at next one. What's this? Oh, it's a ruler. How much is it? Yes, it's 5 rupees. Very good. Now let's go to next one. There is a book. How much is it? It's 10 rupees. Okay, let's see what are the coins that Peter should use to buy these things. Using a 1 rupee coin, he can buy a sharpener. Using a 2 rupees coin, he can buy an eraser. Using a 5 rupees coin, he can buy a ruler. And using 10 rupees coin, he can buy a book. 
Now he can buy all these things using these coins. Children, Peter says like this. To buy a sharpener, I should spend one rupee. To buy an eraser, I should spend two rupees. To buy a ruler, I should spend five rupees. And to buy a book, I should spend ten rupees. Okay. Children, when we write the price of any object, we can use the word rupees. That means R S and this sign. It stands for the word rupees. Let's see what are the other ways that he can use these coins in transactions. I told you to buy a sharpener he can use one rupee coin and to buy an eraser he can use two rupees coin now here not only two rupees coin he can use two coins of one rupee also to buy a ruler he can use five rupees coin or he can use Two coins of two rupees and a one rupee coin. Children, there is another way also. He can use five coins of one rupee to buy this ruler. To buy a book, he can use ten rupees coin, or he can use two coins of five rupees. Or he can use one coin of five rupees and two coins of two rupees and a one rupee coin. Using five coins of two rupees, he can buy this book. And also, using ten coins of one rupee, he can buy this book. Okay. Now you know, if we are selling or buying something using coins, it is a kind of transaction. While doing transactions, you can use these coins as money. Let's go to a sweet shop with Jenny. She wants to buy some sweets. Shall we help her? This is Jenny. She wants to buy a toffee, a lollipop and an ice cream. Let's see what are the prices of these things. A toffee is 3 rupees. A lollipop is 6 rupees. And an ice cream is 9 rupees. Okay, now we can see what are the coins that she should need to buy these things. To buy a toffee, she should spend a 2 rupees coin and a 1 rupee coin. To buy a lollipop, she should spend a 5 rupees coin and a 1 rupee coin. To buy an ice cream, she should spend a 5 rupees coin and 2 coins of 2 rupees. Let's see what are the other ways that she can use these coins in transactions. Earlier, I told you to buy a toffee, she can use a 2 rupees coin and a 1 rupee coin. There is another way. What's that? Yes, she can use three coins of one rupee to buy this toffee. Okay, to buy a lollipop, 
she can use a 5 rupees coin and a 1 rupee coin or she can use 3 coins of 2 rupees or she can use 6 coins of 1 rupee to buy a lollipop to buy an ice cream she can use a 5 rupees coin and 2 coins of 2 rupees or she can use a 5 rupees coin and a 2 rupees coin and 2 coins of 1 rupee coin another way also there she can use 4 coins of 2 rupees and a 1 rupee coin or she can use 9 coins of 1 rupee to buy an ice cream let's do an activity draw the coins according to the given prices for each object you should show two ways that you use coins okay my dear children now you know what are the coins and how we use them in our day-to-day -day activities hope you all enjoyed the lesson do the given activities and write the relevant student notes in your mathematics writing book goodbye stay safe